Now that we've started mastering the left hand technique, we're going to talk about the bow technique. The viola de gamba bow is held very much differently than a cello or a violin bow. A cello or a violin bow, we touch the stick of the bow with our fingers. The viol, which comes from the ancient Arabic instrument known as a kabab, uses the technique of touching the hair. So we have to take our middle finger and we take our middle finger and we put it on the hair. Either we put it on the first joint or we put it in the little section between the first and second joint. I personally use that technique because I have more control. This is the most important thing by pushing, as you can see on the hair and releasing the hair, we can change the sound. We should change the dynamics. Now we put our first index finger lightly on the bow stick and then we put our thumb also lightly on the bow stick. Forquere, the great master of the viola 18th century, says you should never ever press too hard on the stick otherwise you will crush the bow on the string and you must avoid that. So we're now going to put our bow with the tip of the bow on our A string that we played for pit, with pizzicato before. We put the bow on the string and we press a little bit with the second finger. And the moment that we are about to play, we release this pressure. We play all the way to the end of the bow, at which point we come back. Now there's one more important thing to know about bow technique, is that on the viol, when you push the bow, you fold your wrist in this manner. And when you get to the end of the bow, you open your wrist. You close your wrist and you open your wrist. Let's watch again. A string, close wrist, open wrist to pull. Close, open. This is a movement that we do naturally if we're in a swimming pool, for instance, or in a bathtub. Also, if you ever try to take a stone and make it ricochet on a lake, the same movement is what we need for this bow technique. So what we'll do now is practice as much as possible. We should have a resonant, open sound. You press too hard, that's very horrible, and press too lightly, also whistles. So just the right dose of pressing with the second finger. Once you've mastered playing open A back and forth, practice open E. Go back to open A. Or you try open top string D. And notice that each string needs less pressure if it's thinner and more pressure if it's thicker.